Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the beautiful outdoors. And we have another nice day, actually a couple of nice days stringed together. And I thought it's time to go on a winter camping adventure. Recently, I put a poll on YouTube and I gave YouTube two options on my community chat. And I said, risk it for the biscuit, high risk situation, or an easier adventure where I'm likely gonna catch a pile of fish. And it was an overwhelming like 83, 84% for the risk it for the biscuit. So I'm just going for it. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I am going to search for a giant walleye, possibly a big pike, and maybe some burbot mixed in. That is the goal of the mission. I've got two nights, basically two full days. By the time I get fishing today, it'll likely be 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then the last day, I'm going to pack it in at the same thing, like two, two three o'clock, probably in the afternoon and head home. So two nights, two full days, risking it for the biscuit, big walleyes, is definitely the number one goal. I am going to go out and fish first and then set up after. I've got one of my sleighs here all packed for winter camp and stuff where I don't have to dig into it. I can drop it off where I think I might winter camp and then I will use my other sleigh and do some running and gunning. Just maybe I gotta find that primo spot to set up. I have no idea what to expect. I'm gonna take you along for the adventure. We're gonna fish, we're gonna cook, we're gonna hang out. I'm excited. I, I really am. It's supposed to be windy the last day, but today and tomorrow is supposed to be bearable. So let's go do it. Let's jump in the ranger and go have some fun. Thanks for coming along. Okay, I've got my pillow strapped in here, you know, in the seatbelt. I've got a crazy amount of gear, but uh, it's two nights, two enjoyable days. I'm not doing a generator. I'm doing all battery power. I should have brought a solar power thing with me maybe, but that just would have been more stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna have the, the live scope here to set up to start with and do a run and gun mission, drop this sleigh off. That one I'll keep with me. And yeah, I've already been on this ice a few times. I've checked it. I know it's good enough for a side-by-side. -side. There's six, seven inches of ice and I'll obviously watch out for heaves and we'll be careful with that, but let's do it. Let's do it. First things first, start. Baby. Woo! Let's do it. Let's do it. It's so nice outside, like so nice. I can't believe I'm fishing already. The more that I do this, the more efficient I feel like I'm becoming at doing all this with having like a little run and gun set up with the Ranger here, the live scope's right there. So it's like simple. If I have to move right now, I literally have to take this camera and my auger, my everything's like dialed. I can't believe I'm this efficient right now. It's actually surprising me. One of the keys I found or a question I was asked, like what's the, what's the biggest challenge to like this whole filming thing of capturing everything and it's staying organized. And if you can stay organized, you can be efficient and efficiency will lead to more opportunities. That's my wisdom of the day. Be more organized. Organization brings happiness, I find. Anyways. Let's, let's find some walleyes, spot one. Well, no marks, no fish at the first spot. I'm gonna cruise around a little bit and check some different depths and some areas. I might even just drill one hole, drop a live scope down, do a scan before I even commit to fishing anything for an extended period here. So we'll jump back in the ranger. And like I said, I'm pretty mobile right now. I'm pretty efficient. So we'll, we'll just keep, we'll keep searching. And we'll find some fish today. That's a Clayton shit guarantee. Oh, there's a fish here. There's all my phone texting Carter and Adam. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can't tell size. 
Oh, that's decent. That's a decent fish. Not not huge, not small. Come on. Eat it going up. Finicky, maybe I need some bait. They're supposed to look at it. This back one might be a bit bigger than the first one. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't just sniff it. Eat it. There we go. Got such a light bite. I bet you he's hardly hooked. I bet you he's hardly hooked. Well, put a wall on the board. Move shallow to 22, 20 feet right now. And boom, this one's a little bit too big to keep, to eat. And I will be keeping some fish on this trip to cook up in the shack. But oh, I got a bad, I got get my camera out of the shade. But fish one of the trip is on the board. When it's nice out like this, it definitely pays to move around a little bit. Come on. Not very big. Funny how like normally I have more confidence fishing those fish in the dirt, especially with no bait. And I couldn't get them to eat in the dirt and I just pulled it up slow and finally that one ate it. But it was like, I was just like raising and I just all of a sudden saw my rod just kind of get a little bit of tension. I'm like, oh, he's there. Like even though it was such a light bite. I am definitely seeing fish 35, to, 35 feet away cruising those rocks. I think I'm going to go drill a hole there. They're like right on the edge of those rocks. I think we're going to do that. Well, this is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. So we got to stay comfortable. The best part right now is that it's so nice out. I wasn't in a rush to come here and just like set up a camp. I, I can go anywhere yet. I can make a move a couple miles down the lake. I've got a bunch of different spots to try and check. I don't have to set my camp up till, you know, later in the day. Even if I set it up in the dark at night, it doesn't bother me at all. Just because there's no wind out, it'd be fine. Puts I got a nice Milwaukee floodlight, put it out, set up camp in the dark, perfectly fine. We gotta find somewhere that has a, a good concentration of fish, I feel like, before we set up camp. And not that we can't set up a camp and then go other places to fish. It'd just be nice to have the shelter on an area that was holding a lot of fish. And I have some pike tip ups out I'll put at some point too. I'm just kind of holding off on that yet. We're still in the search mode. And the kind of structure I'm starting on to search is a big rock pile. So as I turn the live scope, you can see here, all those like bumps on the bottom, those are all rocks. So this way it gets pretty shallow up to like 12, 10 feet and just a big rock pile. And I'm right on the, right on the edge of it here, basically. So when I turn this way, you can see there starts to be less and less rocks. I started kind of right on that transition, but I was noticing more fish crawling along in these rocks. So that's why I moved over here. Oh, oh, what's coming here? It's coming here off the bottom, off the bottom. There we go. There we go, right in the rocks, right in the rocks. What do we got? Walleye, eater walleye, I think. He's gonna be supper. Ah, uh, maybe a little too big. Uh, still a little too big to eat. He's like 22-ish, 21. I like to find about a, uh, an 18 incher to keep for, for good eats. I don't have to have him for lunch. I could have him for supper even, so, but. We're, we're catching a few anyway. Oh, what's this right here? 20 feet away. Zoom out a bit. Crawl along the bottom. Might be a decent fish. Man, they're in those rocks. Tight. Tight. I'm just gonna jig above these rocks. Here it comes. Come on. Looks good. That looks like a decent fish right there. That's decent. They're in these rocks. They're in these shallow, shallow rocks. Still not huge at all, but maybe, maybe an eater this time. Maybe. Yeah, this one's. This one's supper. Those fish definitely look a little bit bigger when you got the graph zoomed all the way out a little bit there, or in I should say, I guess. I got it so the increments are a lot smaller, but that's like a, a 19 incher. Maybe, maybe 18. He's gonna be 
lunch right there. That's probably all I need for uh, for supper today. It's perfect. Oh, 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 coming off the bottom. That fish hammered me, hammered me. This one is not an eater. This fish is not an eater. That thing just come up and rocked me. Oh, yes, well, we might have found a spot where we can set up the tent, the camp. Do I ever care to grab him? He's not quite small enough to turn himself around in that hole, so we'll scoop him out. If he was small enough to turn himself around in that hole, I might have let him go, but that is a, a nice fish. That one came right out of the rocks, probably a nice 24 incher, I'd say. Oh, and heavy, heavy. Boom, okay. Well, this is good. I'm seeing fish crawl in these shallow rocks in like 10 to 15 feet. And then I'm right on that edge, like I showed you earlier. And I'm thinking I'll likely set up my tent here. I'll still probably use the ranger and do some fishing in some other areas I wanna check out maybe tomorrow or later this evening. No, I'll probably just stick this area today and get settled in. And then tomorrow I might go for an adventure all day. And then the next day, fish right out of my shelter or something like that but i i like it that's three fish here now no four we've got two like lower 20s one like 24 ish and then one eater so this is a, a pretty good start really it's better than i was expecting it to be i was not that it's not going to be a grind but i was expecting it to be even more of a grind so i'm pumped oh 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 don't turn away. They're coming right out of those rocks. Come here. Nice. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. This is definitely, I think, where I'm gonna be setting up camp. A little bit too big to eat. Nice fish. Oh boy. Easy, easy. What a butterball of fish right there. Beautiful 22, maybe 23 incher. I've got my bump board in my sleigh. Nothing's really big enough for me want to want to measure yet, but that thing is a toad for like for the, the length. Super girthy, super deep. They're shooting right out of those rocks. I, I like where I am on this. Probably an edge of a transition. I'd say it's a little bit more transitioning where I was before, but I like the shallower setup. I probably have a good chance to catch burba here later in the day. I'm gonna throw a pike tip up in here shallower on this, this rock flat. I like this. I think this is where I'm gonna spend my day today. So what I'm gonna do is pop up my shelter here behind me, but I'm still gonna fish outside the whole time. I'm gonna fish for a little bit more before I actually pop it up. But I'm gonna pop it up here and I can keep an eye on my hole and fish as I get my shack set up. I might not even fish inside today until later just because it is so nice. I'll take advantage of this beautiful weather. I know the ranger's blocking my sun right now, so it's probably pretty dark on my face, but what a start. Five pretty quick fish. Uh, it's not like late, it's 12.23. So not too bad, really. Oh, I got fish down there, I gotta get fishing again. Here it comes, here it comes, come on. I saw this fish crawl along the bottom earlier. I think this hammered it, wow. Lots of fish crawling up on the rocks, shallow here. Okay, be another, be another eater, but I'm pretty sure I'm good right now. Just, one fish today is more than enough. Every fish is just telling me more and more that it's a good place to camp out, to set up my shelter for, for the day. And like I said, it doesn't mean that I'm stuck here either though. I saw him shoot right back to the rocks down here. He skyrocketed, skyrocketed. Is that even a thing? He water rocketed. But I think that's six, six-ish now, something like that. Things are good and I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty set of using this as my camp out spot. And it doesn't mean that I'm glued to just fishing right here either, which is nice. Probably a pike if it's this high, most likely. Just because the way that all the walleye have been so much lower. I'm thinking pike. If it's a walleye, it would be a nice one. It was a suspended mark. No, wow, okay. Well, that one was really suspended. Wow. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna bump them quick. Cause some people are probably curious to some of the fish sizes. 23 and almost three quarters, 23 and a half. Not bad at all. Like I said, a really 
high suspended fish that one not as as thick at all i was hooked a little bit deeper too so there might have been a little bit of blood coming down i'm not too sure but he'll be he'll be fine but uh things are good the sun is out so it's warm even though i'm in some shadows right now from the ranger it'd probably be warmer if i wasn't in the shadows things are good i'm going to uh probably fish another half hour 45 minutes and pop up the shelter this is going way better than expected this is supposed to be a grind and we're catching a bunch of fish maybe catching the big one's going to be the grind right but this is this is my high risk trip not my not my easy trip i found like there's lakes that i could have went to where i likely could catch 50 60 fish i feel like but most of them are going to be 16 to 20 inches with the odd chance at like a, a 23 plus bigger right and here i feel like i got really good potential of getting a, a 28 inch or bigger here we go here we go come on oh come on no. Always come back, come back, come on. Turn on it, yep. There we go. Hammering them. Hammering them. I was not expecting this kind of action today at all. I was expecting to catch four or five fish in a day. This is crazy. Keep my pliers handy here. That one I have to use the pliers for. That'd be a good eater, probably 18-ish. Going back tomorrow we'll keep him tomorrow you come back tomorrow and i'll eat you tomorrow one fish a day is, is lots these fish are going to keep me busy as i'm trying to set up my shelter i'm sure i'm going to set it up behind me here when i start and that way i can just dead stick my rod up and keep an eye on the graph the whole time i like having it set up on the ranger this is perfect and because i do have a bigger screen it's a 12 inch screen i can sit pretty far back from it i don't have to be have it like right in front of me i like it a lot Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Give me our chance, come on, come on, come back, play. Nice, hammering them, hammering them. I wanna get my shack set up, but I don't wanna stop fishing. An eater, an eater. The question is, are we gonna catch a big one here? Or are we gonna to have to change spots and grind for a, a bigger one? Because a lot of times these fish will hang out in, in packs the same sizes, so. I got confidence to catch fish here. I just don't have confidence in catching a big one here yet. Thank you for playing. I have caught some nice fish in this general area though. So a lot of it could be just a patience waiting game, but you can hear another quad probably in the background. I feel like at some point here, I'm gonna get stuffed out. I feel like it's all good. It's all good. I know there's lots of lakes with way more pressure. When you drive four hours to a lake and it's huge and then somebody pulls up right beside you, you're kind of like, dude, just you stay here and I'll go somewhere else. Just don't follow me. I don't want to compete for the same fish. That's all. Let's just not compete for the, you know, the same fish. Buddies and stuff like that, great. But people you don't know, there's no reason to pull up right next to somebody and compete for the same fish. Now I get it. Our lake could be different than some of the lakes in the States, say Red Lake, where you see all these groups together. I don't know how that works, if that's the only area where there is fish. But this lake is literally like 60 miles long and you can basically catch fish off of any of these break lines, I feel like. So you don't need to go compete for the same fish. At the same time, these people haven't like crowded me yet, but I just know how it goes. If they see somebody catching fish, they just like vultures. I think what I might do even before I set up the shelter is have lunch first because it is 1.30. So I think what I'm gonna do is have a, a lunch. I think today is going to be burnt ends for lunch, just because it's super simple, quick, easy. Boil some water and then throw in the bag. That's what I'm gonna do today. It's for lunch I'm having burnt ends. And then after lunch is when I'll start to pop my shelter up and I'm pretty sure I'm setting it up right here. Pretty sure. You know me, I, I change my mind all the time, but and not that I'm not going to go look for other fish at some point here on this trip. I just sometimes it's good not to leave fish to find fish. Get some water here. I'm not drinking this water, so I just grabbed it right out of the lake. And if I was drinking, I'd just boil it for a real long time. But I brought water to drink. This is for 
the boil bag though right here so we'll get this water boiling and then we'll put in our our lunch this is i've done some videos recently this is that big smoke barbecue this is burnt ends i just didn't bring the box with me to save some room but 20 minutes like this put it in frozen i'm gonna have a a good lunch today i told myself on this trip that i want to like eat good like i want to like eat some food and not just be starving the whole time i want to bring some some good meals and eat good keep my energy level high so i can go on the grind for a a big mama come on come on i got a steam coming from my food get up here i like fishing down in the dirt in the bottom but when you're in the rock sometimes you got to pull it up so those fish can see it not that, not that they won't scrounge around in those rocks and find it. That's a smaller one. Okay, cut her open. Dump her out. Oh my. This just isn't going to be even fair. Are you kidding me? This is how I'm going to eat on the ice today? <laughs> and I was smart enough to wrap them up in tin foil because there's no way I'm eating those all now. And I can just warm them up later. I wish you guys could smell these because they smell so good. Mmm. I got fish. Oh. Whereas I stuff my face, there's a fish crawling. Looks big too. Keep coming, get over here. I just stuffed my face. Mm, here it is, here it is, here it is. Come on. No, come on, come on, come on. Circle, circle, here we go. Here it comes, here it comes. Amazing. Must have been the burnt end. I was so lucky to catch a fish. It's not, it's not huge, it's not huge, but stuff in your face apparently works. We'll do a quick measure just to see, I'm thinking 23, 24. <laughs> Only 22 and a half. 22 and a half of pure chunk. He probably smelt the burnt ends, I bet you. I'm, I'm feeling he smelt the burnt ends for sure. I thought that fish was a little bit bigger. And who's to say it's the same fish? I saw a fish sleeking along the bottom. And it was about 30 seconds probably after. Where I was just jigging on the spot and the fish came out of the, out of the rock. So I see no reason to, to move from this spot for what I've been catching. It's just a question whether I'm going to get a big mom to come around or not. Anyways, where was I? Of course, do I grabbed like the biggest piece and just like shoved it right in my mouth. <laughs> and there's a mark. I'm like, oh, I'm a really good mark. It's such a big one. Man. One of my favorite new ice fishing meals, especially for this whole winter camping. These things are the boil bags. Oh, it's so good. Oh good. Here. Psych. Okay, it's time to pop the tent up. And I gotta get a finicky fooler out too. I'm seeing a bunch of fish here, like 40, 50 feet that way. So I'm gonna get a finicky fooler up with a, a dead minnow or something like that on it as well. Get a dead stick going. I should be fishing two rods, whether I'm fishing for a pike right now as well or something like that. But I think we'll set up a fooler to start with with uh We'll try for a walleye and if we catch, start catching some pike or get break, broken off, then we'll switch to a pike tip up. There's already a fish coming up to my bait. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, it's coming up. Nice, nice. I saw that one just crawl on the bottom. Yeah, this is good. I just got the finicky fooler set up. I saw some fish go over there right away. Oh, 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 that's bigger than I thought. That's bigger than I thought. That's way bigger than I thought. The fish kind of surprised me. I was looking around. Oh, are you kidding me? Don't go backwards. Get up here. I almost lost that fish. And that's it. I'm going to lose it yet. Okay, okay. Okay, there we go. That's a big one. Big, I can say, I was trying to say bigger one. And I kind of slipped out saying big one and say bigger one. 
that's a nice like I'm thinking 27 okay I'm definitely confident in my spot now <laughs> look at that oh thank you YouTube for telling me to go on the high risk hunt we got 27 and a half 27 and a half right there love it and I don't even have my tent set up but now I know where I'm setting up my tent for the night that fish honestly shocked me I didn't think it was that big I had my game cranked right now because I was looking 50 60 feet in at my minnow I could just see the minnow down there and had some fish come up and look and I just kind of spin around I saw a fish crawl along the bottom it would have been coming from from this way a little bit deeper came in and boom <laughs> and you can see I said I was gonna set the tent up but then I changed my mind to get the finicky fluor going first this has turned into an awesome day so far I've got big time confidence to set up right here right now So the shack set up. I'm honestly not setting anything up in the inside until it gets dark. I've only got two night bites, probably like two like evening bites today and tomorrow because I'll probably go home Saturday. It's supposed to get windy. I'll go home like midday, like two o'clock-ish or whatever. So I'm going to take advantage of this right now and fish it. It's so nice outside and it's not going to get cold. It's not going to get windy for tonight yet. I have good lighting, good headlamps. I have no problem setting up in the dark. So I'm going to enjoy this right now and fish. A lot of times when I go out winter camping, if it's not nice, if it's minus 20, minus 30, the first thing you have to do is set up that tent and get the heat going and get organized. And then you could fish. On this occasion, I was allowed to fish first, find an area that I wanted to set up on. I think I checked three or four areas where I finally, before I finally caught a fish. And now I can just kind of sit back and take in this evening bite and then get set up into the dark. I've never had really, really good night bites where I am in the dark at this spot or this lake in general. Not to say I couldn't catch a big one in the middle of the night, but I'm going to use this time right now to fish and then we'll get set up later. What a life this is. This is fun when you can fish, no toque, no gloves right now. Like, it's just perfect. Ice is nice seven inches, which I love. It's not too much, it's not too little. It's just so good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, come on. There we go, nice. Fish on, baby. Not very big, but that's okay. That's okay, it's been a while. I think it's the first fish we've caught since we popped up the shelter anyway. And a lake and an area where I have potentials for, potentials, potential for a giant at any moment. So far the whole day, I've been using this Castmaster again. It's been one of my go-tos. I think it's the same hook uh, or the same lure. I'm ready for a new treble here again though. I like to change my trebles out after every like, 20 fish or every day type of thing depending on how if it's it gets weak if it looks like it's bent out a bit i'll try to bend it back maybe once but i don't like that once it starts to bend out or whatever i just get i just change them treble hooks are definitely worth changing that one's a number four vmc barbarian treble the vmc hooks have definitely been my favorite hooks for uh changing out for your spoons Pretty much every spoon you ever use, it feels like you always have to change out the treble. But just because the VMC, I just got so much faith in those barbarian trebles. For smaller fish, the, the hook that comes with here would just be just fine. But for CSO size fish right now, we got to upsize, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got a mark coming up. This, I got a mark coming up here now. Actually, pretty decent. I'm on the phone with my good buddy Adam right now. Adam caught a monster today. I'll put that picture right here. He, he's a monster slayer. He always catches 30 inches. That's why we call him Mr. 30. What was it, Adam? 30 and a half? 30 and a half. 30 and a half giant. Maybe maybe he'll be on the phone. I catch a big one here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got him. I got him hooked up. I'm hooked up, Adam. I don't think it's a 30 and a half though, Adam. 
No, it's only like a 20. Oh, I should not horse that one out of the hole. I'll break my line. Well, on the phone with my good buddy, Adam. And like I said, I flashed that picture of the giant he caught. This one is about five inches shy of his fish for sure. But that's a nice one though. Uh, about 25-ish, I'd say. It's going back right. It's going back right now. Probably about 25-ish. Okay. Yeah. Well, better than nothing. Adam's a good buddy. He took Carter fishing today and uh like i said caught a a toad they caught a toad they never caught it had a they never had a lot of action at all but they caught one of the right ones i love it i love it i love it i love it as you can see the sun is like set it's starting it's not dark yet but it's getting there sunset probably 15 minutes ago it's been a little bit slower i haven't had a prime time bite but that's okay i'm waiting for that one big mark to come cruising through and that was, a, that was a nice fish. I'll never complain with a fish like that. I'm gonna keep fishing here a little bit longer. And I'm gonna start probably by putting in my table and get my lights up. And then from there, we will uh, set everything up inside and just chill. Watch some movies probably later on my phone. Just relax and then start planning for tomorrow. One of the, the biggest things about this is like, it's a whole high risk thing. It's like, if you're on fish and you're catching smaller ones, yes, some bigger ones could come by, but you almost have to find a school or a group of bigger fish. So tomorrow, because it is nicer out and I have the ability to drive around a little bit and look, I'll probably jump in the Ranger and just one of the sleighs and leave my home base here and just go looking, do a search and destroy. Oh, what is this? What is this? It's up higher, it's coming back again. Looks decent. Oh yeah. Come on. There we go. Is this gonna be a walleye or a bourbon? It's getting late already. I should be getting my shacks. Oh, look at that, nice walleye. Suspended walleye. Oof. It's dark already, easy, easy, easy. That thing hammered it. Took a while to coax it to eat, but boom, spoon is gone. It went to a glow in the dark ice winder. That is awesome. Very awesome. Okay, <laughs> I was able to just wiggle it out without even pliers. I was up higher and that fish appeared on it, suspended. I was just about to <laughs> start setting up my shelter and boom maybe i'll be fishing for a few more minutes yet possibly it's officially dark o'clock the moon is there uh, it's time to set everything up so as you can see it's barren here right now i'm going to take the head camera off get everything dialed in and the next time you see it it'll be dialed well there it is it looks like I've been living here for a week already. I'm gonna do this outside so the camera stays uh, uh, unfogged, thawed right now. It is warmer in there, so the ca cameras that are colder are going to fog quick. I do have the live scope down already. I've seen some fish, so I'm gonna to try to get everything going here and start fishing again. Uh, I'm gonna clean up some fish that I caught today. We're gonna to cook something yet tonight, and hopefully we can still put some on the ice. But we got we got the most the the best part of the whole ice winter camping yet is the hanging out in the shack, cooking up a meal, and possibly watching some movies or something like that later as the bite dies off, if it even picks up to start with. We'll see. I don't have a lot of confidence to catch anything in the night right here where I am, but you never know. Let's get inside and get organized. Okay, dropping down. We will eventually do a little tour of the setup. I just want to fish for a little bit and see if there's any fish in the area. I did see some marks kind of swim by as I was getting set up here, so that could be good. I'm in comfy clothes, sweatpants, most comfortable sweats ever. Ice fish, Manitoba, hoodie, just living the life. Tomorrow, after my day of fishing, I'll be able to just get right into the evening fishing won't have to take any time but this setup took uh probably an hour ish I've got christmas lights the idea is to put this video out on christmas day so i thought well christmas lights and if i happen to put this out on christmas or even if i didn't i want to say merry christmas happy holidays 
I hope everybody is having a good holidays and I hope everybody got to spend some time with family, most importantly, and uh, watch some CSO videos, right? So I'm a uh, happy holidays to everybody. But, and uh, yeah, thanks for taking time out of your holiday day to watch my video as well. It'll, this video will either be out on Christmas day or boxing day. We'll see. Cause I think I have another video coming out on Christmas Eve for sure. So I don't know if I'll stack two in a row. Oh yeah. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it just hardly, hardly touched it. I'm thinking Burbot. I'm thinking Burbot. There we go. It was a pretty hard bite. Like like a burb it would clamp down. Pretty sure it's a burb. If it's a walleye, it's a nice one, but I'm thinking burb it. Thinking, oh, I might have saw a white tail. No, that's a burb. Oh no, it's a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. I don't think it's huge, but it's not small. This is amazing. Nine o'clock at night. Oh, oh. I thought I saw a white tip tail. Yeah, that's a nice eye. Now, like I said, not huge, but I've had some marks cruising around here. This is good. This is really good. Lots of confidence about scoring fish at night. Oh yeah, one of my bigger ones of the day. Oh yes. Come here, that's a fatty. Oh, that's a fat one. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yes. A good spot after all. We'll measure it and show it off. It won't hit 30, but it is a 27 and three quarters. <laughs> oh, yes. A fat 27 and three quarter with the Christmas lights behind me. So good. I have to send a little shot to Adam and Carter here for uh, in my release video the fish is the fish is uh is good but i gotta send him a little video well boys it's worth staying the night i guess i picked uh i picked a good spot it seems like boom see ya i really thought it was gonna be a burbot just because of the way it like it it felt like it just bit down so hard and for today the most part of the wall i have been like a pretty light bite Feels good. Just glowed up. I'm using an ice winder here. Uh, it's a quarter ounce glow chartreuse. Glow chart, no, glow chartreuse. Glow wonder bread. Chartreuse is obviously just one of my favorite colors, right? It glows up to make it look more chartreuse y because it's a pretty bright glow. Oh, so good. Oh boy, that's a bigger mark up there. Look at that. Oh boy, oh boy, what is it gonna be? I'm thinking it's gonna be a big wall, I know it. That thing way up here, way suspended. Come up to the Cisco's. I hate to say it, but I didn't get a great hook set on him. I'm not comfortable with this at all. Oh, I just prepping the fish for supper and looked over and there's a mark just slowly cruising in. Oh, I just wanna see it, I just wanna see it. It's a walleye. It's not huge, but it's nice. Oh, that was so cool. That fish was way up there. Way up there. I'm so glad I at least saw it. Because I would have if I'd have lost him, I'd have been wondering forever if it was big. <laughs> this fish has got some serious warts going on here on the other side, but golden fish. Not super chunky, but it's quite long actually. Oh, just touches 26 but like i said it's not a it's not a fat one just a a lengthy one <laughs> oh you are uh gotta go get some meals in you buddy that fish was suspended like six feet underneath the ice that's the one thing i find so awesome with live imaging is 
you get to see that stuff happen so frequently with suspended fish. Well, so far, so good. Look at my nice Christmas lights. It's so festival in here. Festive. That's the word I'm looking for, right? Festive. Anyways, caught a couple fish. Caught one as I was prepping the fish, which I'm going to eat here soon. I'm going to cook it up. I'm having a little teriyaki dish. We're going to serve it with rice. So it's, uh, it's going to be lemon pepper fish right here. And they're going to be cubed up lightly or small lightly. They're going to be cubed up, cubed up small. There's going to be onions in the dish. There's going to be teriyaki. There's going to be a little bit of brown sugar and there's going to be pineapple. I'm going to cook the rice up first. This is just like a super simple rice like this. That's like, you can cook it in like a minute. I'm going to put it in the skillet with just a little bit of water and like flash fry it basically get it cooked up and then take it out, put it on a plate and then I'll cook my fish and then I'll cook, I'll take it out and then I'll cook up the onions and toss in the fish with the teriyaki, the brown sugar, some pineapple and uh, yeah, and then I might even, no, I'll just probably put it on the rice. The rice is going to cool off after it's done cooking, but that's fine because the other dish will bring the heat back for this. I'll try to film most of it on the head camera as I go here a little bit and we'll, uh, we'll cook up supper. I love it. I would recommend if you were camping out with like two people to not do the cooking in your tent, have a tent that's set aside just for like cooking and hanging out and stuff. And then you're going to do one tent where you can sleep in and sleep and fish in, etc. It's nice to have different accommodations. I feel like if you're, you're going to get cramped a lot of times, if you're trying to do everything in one tent with two people, that's, that's how I, I feel. Of course you wouldn't have all this camera gear. So maybe it's still possible or maybe you just won't cook as fancy meals like this. Just do more boil bags. Enough talking, Clayton. Let's start cooking. Okay, we're gonna cook right there. So I can kind of sit back, watch my depth finder at the same time. I like my new open concept area. I don't feel as cramped, even though I just, I still not organized though. I did a poor job of, of organization, but that's, that starts at home packing. I just I end up throwing too many things together quickly and not being super organized, I feel like. Okay. Rice is done. Okay, I am cooking the fish with beef tallow. I'm running low on it, but I probably got enough for this. Maybe just this, maybe one more, we'll see. But so good. Big Smoke Barbecue is where I got the beef tallow from. Lemon pepper catch and cook is what we're using for this one today. I have, this is my second time using the lemon pepper. It's really, really good. It smells so lemony. I'm not using anything as a binder because my fillets are, are wet enough. And it shouldn't be a problem. And I'm using small, small cubes of fish here. Not going too big. I got a little bit of a, a lean going on here in my pan. Or not my pan, my, my cooker. Reason for the smaller cubes is they'll just stay a little bit uh, or they'll stay together a little bit better than they were if they were our full full chunks Okay, my fish is done. Lots of times I'll clean this pan out and I'll use like butter for the onions, but I forgot any butter today. So we're gonna do the onions just in here. Just like this, will work just fine. I got a fish there. So you're gonna turn around. So yeah, we're just frying up the onions. This is a real simple, easy to do dish. And like I said, sometimes I would, a lot of times I'd clean this pan out and I'd put some fresh butter in there and fry those onions up or saute, I guess is the correct terminology, I think. Okay, onions are done. The fish goes back in here now, just like this here. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Then teriyaki, a little bit of teriyaki. A lot of people say, I don't like teriyaki, it's got such a, 
a hard kick to it. Well, if you like the hard kick, don't do this next step. First of all, shake it up a little bit here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you like a strong teriyaki flavor, bypass this step. If you want something that's not as strong, a little bit of brown sugar. I wonder who else is coming for supper because this is too much. A little bit of brown sugar. Oh, how about this for a meal on the ice, eh? Oh, that camera's probably so smoked out. Okay, we can shut this off and have everything still hot. Dump in the pineapple, which will help cool the dish off a little bit. And that's it. I will let this uh, cool. I'll let my camera get unsmoked and I will show it off on a plate. Okay, we're still fishing, but we're about to eat. Rice is the side dish. Fish coated in lemon pepper seasoning with teriyaki sauce and onions and then pineapple on top with a little sprinkle of brown sugar. Oh baby, I've, I've had this before. I've done it mostly with pike. I've never really done it with walleye, I don't think. But my neck just cracked. I gotta take this head camera off for a bit. I'm going to enjoy lunch. Oh, the lemon pepper uh, catch and cook adds a nice little zing into it. I've never done it with the lemon pepper before. And I would do it again. Anyways, head camera off. Gonna unwind a little bit. Watch some YouTube maybe. I don't know. Maybe read some comments and uh, just kick back a little bit. But the lure will be in the water the whole time and we'll see if we can still catch a big mama yet tonight. Oh boy. So here's the deal. It's 106. I'm still up. I've had enough fish come by to keep me interested. Yes, I've only caught two for the night, but I've had other fish come by that didn't connect. I had one that came by that was like six feet below the ice and it ate and I just didn't get a good hook set and like the lure literally like just flew right out of the ice and that was it. It looked like a good fish. I had enough fish come by where it's like, it's kept me interested every like 15 minutes. Be, there's one there that just slowly swims by and they've been bigger ones. Like I'm not, I don't know if they're giant ones, but they've been, they've been nice ones. So I have, high confidence in this area that I'm at right now. There's no doubt about it, but it's one o'clock. I am going to pack it in for the night and have a sleep. I do have a rod set up right now in a finicky fooler, but I have a line alarm rigged up to it instead of the flag. Bail still open. So if something eats my minnow, which is a dead minnow, but it's a minnow, but if something eats it, it'll pull out of that line alarm. It'll alert me. I'll wake up and that will basically start my next video. So basically I'm, I'm wrapping this video up right here. Day one is uh, in the books. I've got a day and a half yet of fishing to capitalize on a, a giant walleye. It's already been a success in my mind because I've caught good quality fish and some nice ones and I'm very happy with my decision. I'm going to do a full tour tomorrow of the shelter. I, I did finally do some organizing here and like I feel like I'm kind of organized and set up. There's no doubt that the Dakota batteries are like the staple, the powerhouse of my whole shack. This is a 135 amp power box. It's like charging GoPro batteries, my main camera batteries which are these ones, my phone, and then I'm running lights here. I run a pile of lights. Those ones I have off right now, because I was noticing that I was not noticing, but I was curious if maybe fish were spooking because of the lights. So I got half of the shelter shut off, kind of where I'm fishing. Anyways, the next video will start with a whole tour, as long as I get up in time, a tour of the shelter. I'll do a tour of the shelter no matter what in the next video. And yeah. I'm going to 
shut my eyes and try to sleep. I'm gonna shut off the graph. That way it's like, it's, you know, out of sight, out of mind, and at least get a couple hours of sleep. But I'm just like addicted right now. I just wanna sit there and shake. I never did watch any movies, hardly spent any time on YouTube, anything like that. FaceTime Cindy for a bit. And yeah, so no idea what this, where this video went, but there's day one of my high risk trip that you guys picked for my adventure. Anyways, now I'm just rambling over and over. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.